Thanks for coming along for the ride. My name is Don and this is Adventures This Way. What I'm doing today is I'm out for a ride and I'm comparing this here behind me, 2021 Can-Am Outlander 850 XT. And I'm gonna be comparing it to my 2013 Polaris Sportsman 850 XP. It's a pretty good match of trim levels. Now there is a few years difference between the two. It's gonna be a very comparable test of what each machine brings to the table. And I'm gonna give you my opinions. So one of the biggest things I really, really wanna try out is the Visco Lock QE. I've seen how it works and how it gets, how it lets people down. In certain situations. Maybe. Yeah. Come on, Visco Lock. Oh. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it in most normal driving situations to see how it feels and how it reacts. And uh, seeing that it's brand new, it should work pretty darn good, right? Oh boys, we're going for a ride. I don't mind the last. We're going for a ride. We're rocking a backpack today, just with a few things in it. I got other stuff in the storage compartment at the back of the machine. So Stuff that's heavy. This I'm just gonna have like the camera gear and a couple things. It won't be too bad. And the other thing is I'm rocking. A, I'm trying a new mount. And hopefully, I like it. I got this demo for today. I got to bring it back at the end of the day, so I better get going. All right, we're gonna give this 850 uh, a good tryout. We're gonna need some four wheel drive, boys. It's freaking, the snow is wet and heavy. So we're gonna go back. Okay, we're in. Try the Visco lock here, should be fine. Whoa, the front end of this is soft. Front end is soft. Oh. It's been two months, two months since my last ride. December 6th was the last ride out. The last ride for the sportsman, as it turns out. Okay, wow. Power steering, she gets an A plus already. Gets a win over the Polaris. The only thing to get used to is uh, when you're driving slow trails like this, get used to the throttle, the throttle control because uh, it's, uh, it's the way the engine braking kicks in, it's just so much different. be a good test. Did not. I just need to start my 
I turn a little different. say a little shorter a little shorter on the wheelbase it, it's definitely a lot more fun so it's so much easier to maneuver We're jacked up on the monster right now. Woohoo! There's a couple of tricky spots in here. <laughs> It should be solid ice, but... There's a few girls to watch apparently, but not that many. All right, let's give her through these hydro lines here. Oh yeah, this will be fun. <laughs> When we compare the Can-Am Outlander 850 to the Polaris 850 XP, which is mine, which is a little bit older, it's it's a pretty fair comparison. The 2021 Polaris model is very, not very much different in the DNA. The body works different. Uh, you know, suspension calibration is maybe a little bit different. We'll have to check what tires come stock on the new Polaris. But compared to my stock tires, these ITP Terracross tires, they're exact same size. They are 26 by 14s, eight on the front, 10 in the rear. These tires are way better than the stock tires I had on mine. Um, the rear storage compartment, very similar. The Polaris one is now up here. Um, some people are debating whether they like that or not. I like it down here. Even though you know it's gonna get wet, you put stuff in there, you're not worried about getting, uh, getting wet. The biggest difference is the shocks. For me, as an accomplished rider, they, they leave a lot to be desired. 
it's not really it's not designed for aggressive trail riding aggressive trail riding you're going to want an xxc or the xtp except when it comes to handling this handles quite well one of the big differences is the front sway bar it is quite noticeable quite noticeable handling and power steering go to the k&m for sure i really really like it it's a lot nicer the three modes some people may like it may not so then the next thing to talk about is comfort with the v-twin rotax engine it's a more traditional installation the clutches are at the side the players has a sideways mounted engine with the clutches at the rear with the clutches at the rear it gives you a lot more narrow everything in this part of the cockpit area of the rider position is narrower and it is definitely comfortable there's no question so when it comes to this your feet are really sticking out a little bit wider so you're not tucking in as tight but after a few minutes it's uh it really didn't seem to bother me that much the driver position is nice i like it but the overall com uh, comfort's going to go to the players but sometimes there's some gives and some take um, and that was one of, those, one of those things when I first chose my Polaris was the, the four-wheel drive system and the comfort. I like the comfort. However, some of the drawbacks are maintenance and working on the thing. When it comes to maintenance, uh, especially accessing the clutches and servicing the clutches, taking the clutches off, it's much, much harder to take the clutches off on the Polaris. It really is. So my recommendation is if you're an ATV rider, that's looking for something that's got a little more snap than a 570, but you don't really need a 1000. And you know what? You really don't need a 1000. It really depends on what you're doing. Unless you're doing real extreme, real extreme stuff, then go for the 1000. Gives you so many more options on uh, tuning and things that you can do to harness the power out of that engine. When it comes to the 850 class, you really can't go wrong with the Can-Am Outlander 850 XT. The fun factor is totally there. Totally, totally, totally. If you're looking for a little bit of power, but don't want to go too crazy, this could be the machine for you. While you're waiting for the next video, why don't you check out one of these ones right here. I'll see you in the next one.